Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a recording of a live Zoom practice with the Breast Friends Group. My name is Christine, and we will be using a chair in our practice today. If you prefer not to use a chair, I will offer variations for you to be able to use a mat instead. And we'll be using the chair to do some standing postures as a way to balance ourselves and to kind of bring the earth a little bit closer to our hands. So all that being said, you can start sitting um, in a chair at this point or on the floor. And we're just going to invite yourself to be here in the present moment. Go ahead and take your next inhale. And you might notice that that's the first inhale you've had all day that you were really aware of and present for. And as you exhale, let the muscles of your face soften. Invite your shoulders to relax away from your ears. And maybe close your eyes a little bit so that you can really go inward with yourself. Begin to soften your breath and notice where you notice it. I'm a little on the sympathetic nervous system side right now myself, so I am breathing pretty high in my chest. You might notice that you are as well. So maybe put one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly and see if you can encourage the breath to come a little bit deeper. Just feel your lower hand expand as you inhale. And then likely the upper hand will follow. And as you exhale, the upper hand softens down and the lower hand softens in. Just staying right here with that nice, soft breath. And as you inhale down into your lower belly, feel the sides of your body expanding, maybe even your low back. And you might gently let your elbows come inward to really hold yourself here, supporting yourself. And what would it be like to bring an attitude of tenderness and compassion to this touch of your hands on your body, on your belly and on your heart? And you might even say to your body out loud or in your head, I want to be your friend. And how would your body reply if it heard you say, I want to be your friend? It might say it's been waiting a long time to hear that. Or maybe you already are friends with your body. But if there are any places in your body that you feel less than friendly to, you might, again, bring that sense of compassion and tenderness to those parts of your body. Just gently acknowledging them as part of yourself, part of your wholeness. And perhaps it's not a part of your body. You might have a difficult relationship that may be a thought that keeps recurring or an emotion. 
Just see what it would feel like to bring a sense of compassion, acceptance and tenderness to all the parts of yourself. Without any judgment, just fully and completely embracing who you are. And then let's release the hands, let them rest in your lap. And we're going to do a little breath practice called Kalabhati. And what it is, is well, it's a strong exhale, uh, kind of exhaling from the diaphragm right here. So it's easier to show than explain. So what we'll do is we'll take a nice big in breath to prepare. And then as we exhale, we'll exhale out the nose and it'll look a little bit like this. So you're kind of using your diaphragm to push the air out of your nose really strongly. This is really good for strengthening your core, but it's also really great for regulating our nervous systems. So at the end, we will exhale completely, and then we'll take a nice big inhale and hold the breath for as long as you feel comfortable doing that. And then we'll exhale completely so we can relax. So we'll just do that a few times. I'll let you know when it's time to exhale. So take an inhale together here to prepare. And we'll begin. Exhale completely. Big inhale, fill up from the belly, up into the heart. Hold the breath. If it's uncomfortable to do so, go ahead and release. But if you can retain it for just a few moments, soften your shoulders and your face. And then exhale completely, fully and invite yourself to deeply relax. We'll do that together again. And those exhales can be as fast as you like, as slow as you like, as subtle or as vigorous as you like. This is your yoga practice. So let's do that again. Let's take an inhale together to prepare, fill up from the bottom. And we'll begin. Exhale completely. Inhale fully, fill up. When you get to the top, retain the breath, holding as long as feels comfortable. And if you haven't already, exhale fully, completely. Invite yourself to deeply relax. Just notice what you notice. You might notice a little sense of lightheadedness. It's one of the reasons we do this sitting. But you might also notice a sense of energy or vitality in your body. Let's do that one final time together. Find a really tall, strong spine here. Let's inhale together to prepare. And we begin. Exhale completely. Big inhale, fill up. Hold the breath. Let the shoulders soften away from the ears. Relax your jaw. And then slowly and gently 
exhale completely. And be with the sensations of your body as you deeply relax. And as you're ready, you might blink open the windows of your eyes. And you can do this next part either seated in a chair or standing. So uh, whichever you prefer, I'm going to stand. And I'm just going to set this chair aside for now. If you want to do your whole practice on a mat, you don't need a chair. Uh, but to, like I said, to bring the earth a little bit closer, we can use uh, different kinds of supports, blocks, chairs, table, whatever is convenient for you. But we're going to do a little practice to just shake things off. Maybe you're still breathing high in your chest. Maybe you've got a little anxiety going on or anger or anything like that. This is a practice where we can release that stuff. So just bring your hands out, whether you're sitting or standing, we're just gonna kind of shake them. Just shaking both hands. You might raise the hands up a little bit. You might even bring them up overhead if that feels good. Just bringing your hands, your arms to a level that feels okay in your shoulders, in your chest, in your back body. Just shaking all of that out. And then three times we'll shake it off as if there's no paper towels in the bathroom. You got water on your hands. We'll just shake it off. And then you might want to use a chair for balance here. Uh, we're just going to shake one leg at a time. So bring all of your weight into your right leg. And we're going to pick up that left leg and just begin to shake it off. Bring your attention to your toes and your foot, your ankle, your shin, your knee, your thigh. Feel it all the way up in the hip. And then we'll set the left foot down and pick up the right foot and shake out the right leg. Just let it be fun and easy. There's no pressure here. Again, you can be doing this from your chair as well. Just picking up the leg and shaking it out right here. And then we'll just shake out the whole body. So maybe you shake your hips and you shake your arms and maybe you shake your head and bring your arms up overhead. And then let's take a big inhale together and exhale. Just let everything go. Bring your feet underneath your knees and just notice again how you feel. Checking in with your body, asking your friend what's going on, and extending that sense of kindness and compassion and warm regard for yourself. And then if you're using a mat, come to stand at the front of your mat. If you're using a chair, you can use it either seat facing you or back facing you. I'm gonna use the back facing me for the highest position to bring the earth a little closer to me. So we'll be standing at the front of the mat near your chair if you're using one. And we'll find Tadasana, mountain pose. So I'll turn to face you so you can see how my feet are underneath my knees, my knees are under my hips. And you might rock a little forward and a little back so that you can find your center, that place where you are neither too far forward or too far back, where you can feel all 10 toes, the balls of your feet, the heels, firmly in contact with the earth. And then we'll bring our hands to our hearts in Anjali Mudra prayer position. Again, extending kindness 
and warm regard for yourself and for your practice, however that looks today. And from here, we'll take a big inhale, fill up, raise the arms as much as feels good to you. And then we'll exhale to bring them right down to the heart. One more time, inhale, bring the arms up. Maybe you look up towards your hands as they come together and exhale, hands to heart. One more time, reach up, look up, exhale, hands to heart, and then we'll take chair pose, sitting down and back as much as feels good. Most of the weight in the heels here. And you can bring your hands to the chair for balance if you like. And you can bring your feet as close as feels good to you. So with your hands on the chair or maybe at your heart, or maybe you want to extend them up towards the sky, let's take one more full breath here. And then with your next inhale, push into the feet, rise up and let your arms float down towards the earth. And just check in with yourself. Maybe you notice a little temperature change. Maybe you notice your heart beating a little bit more adamantly. And then we'll inhale again, raise the arms only as much as feels good to you. Bring your palms together and exhale, hands to heart, sit down and back in your chair. Hands at heart, hands to the sky, or hands resting on your chair. From here, we're going to step the left leg back and come into a high lunge. So if you're holding on to the chair, you're here. Again, hands can be at your heart or maybe they're up towards the sky. If they're up towards the sky, see if you can invite the shoulder blades down the back body. In fact, no matter where your hands are, invite the shoulder blades down the back body. One more full breath here. And then we'll inhale, step back to the top of your mat and find your mountain pose, Tadasana. And just check in with the two sides of your body, your right leg and your left leg might feel distinctly different now. And then again, we'll raise the hands up overhead with your inhale or bring them directly to your heart. And then we'll step back with the right toes, coming into your high lunge. Keep that front knee over your front ankle to keep the knee joint safe. And press back into your back heel. And again, you can be using the chair here. Keep your hands at your heart or bring them up towards the skin. Invite the shoulder blades down the back, almost as if you could tuck them into your back pockets. One more full breath here. And then we'll inhale, step forward to the top of the mat. Release your hands and find your Tadasana posture once again, mountain pose. And it's said that as we practice our yoga practice more and more, we get a little higher up that mountain. And we can see with a little more clarity, a little more intuition, a little more compassion. And then we're going to step that left foot back again. So any way you want to get there, hands to chair, hands at heart, we'll step that left foot back. And this time we're going to turn the left heel down to the floor and come into warrior two legs. So the heels are lined up 
or maybe a little bit wider stance if that feels more secure for you. Front knee is bent and over the front ankle and press strongly into that outer edge of your back foot to keep the ligaments engaged around your knee. Keep your knees nice and safe. Bring your hands to your heart or keep your hand on your chair for balance. The back hand can be on the hip. Or maybe you find warrior two arms, extending the arms out from side to side, forward and back. Turning your gaze to look out over your front hand. You might soften your gaze. Or if you want to challenge your balance, you could close your eyes. And again, bring those shoulder blades down the back body. One more full breath here. Feeling the power of your thighs feeling strong in your feet. And then we'll inhale to lower the left arm. If it's lifted, swing it all the way forward, pick up that back heel, and we'll step back to the top of the mat. Again, find your Tadasana. Reconnect with your breath. Reconnect with the sensations of your body. Noticing what's going on with a sense of curiosity and compassion. And then once again, inhale, raise your hands up to your heart, however they want to get there. And or with them anchored on the chair, we're going to step back with that right foot once again into your high lunge. And then we're going to turn the back heel down towards the earth. Pressing strongly into that outer back edge, keeping the front knee safe over the ankle, using the strength of your legs to keep yourself nice and tall here, rotating those shoulders up and back and down to invite them down the back body, staying with your hand on the chair at your heart, or finding your warrior two arms, Virabhadrasana two. Gazing out over your front fingers. You might think about what are the qualities of a warrior in yoga philosophy. Courage. Compassion. Justice. Adaptability. And see if you can embody those qualities. One more full breath here. And then we'll bring that back arm forward, pick up the back heel and woo, step to the top of the mat. Good thing I had the chair there. <laughs> Almost lost my balance. And that's okay. Sometimes we lose our balance in life, but that's why we're warriors because we can adapt. So again, we'll come into this Tadasana posture, mountain pose. Inhale to bring your hands to your heart any way you want to get there, and we'll sit down and back in our chair pose. And again, you can be sitting on the chair here, using it to support you, especially if you're um, starting to feel a little shaky, which can happen as we're really asking a lot of our lower bodies right now. Keep your hands at your heart or down on your chair. And once again, we'll step back with those left toes. Let's inhale, bring the back heel down to the earth and find your warrior two, whatever that looks like for you today. Wherever your arms are, maybe they're at your hips, maybe they're on the chair, maybe they're warrior two arms. And then we're going to straighten that front leg and find triangle pose. So reach forward with your right hand. Maybe it comes to the chair. Maybe it comes to a block or to the inside of your right leg. And we'll reach the left hand up towards the sky. Instead of looking down at the floor, 
We're gonna turn to look up towards the sky so that the heart and the belly are rotating forward. And maybe you look up at your top hand. Feel into the bottoms of your feet. Be mindful not to hyperextend this front leg, but to keep a gentle soft bend here, what we call a micro bend. One more full breath here, feeling what you feel in your outer left hip, outer leg, maybe into the side body, the armpit. And then we'll inhale, bend the front knee, come back to your expression of warrior two. And then we'll inhale once again to come back to high crescent lunge and step forward to the front of the mat. Find your Tadasana. Lift the base of your skull towards the sky so that your neck is a beautiful extension of your spine. And once again, we'll bring our hands to our hearts, sit down and back into your chair, and you can always skip the chair pose part if you like. And then we'll step those right toes back, turn the back heel down and find your warrior two. Always know that you can come to sit in the chair and just extend your legs and arms from there. Feel the strength and the power in your legs. Feel both soles of the feet firmly connecting with the ground. And then we'll straighten that front leg, reach forward with the left hand and begin to draw the left hand down to the chair to a yoga block, to the inside of your left leg, and reach that right arm up to the sky. Open up your heart, open up your gaze, feel your feet planted strongly. And notice whatever's going on in the right side of your body. Or maybe the left side's talking to you more. Just listen to what it has to say. And listen with compassion and kind regard for yourself. One more full breath right here. And then we'll inhale, come all the way back to your warrior two. And then we'll come to crescent lunge and step forward once again to the front of the mat. And if you're using a chair, you might turn it so that the seat is facing you now. And we're gonna use it to just bring ourselves right on down to the ground. So stepping one foot back and then the other, swing your legs out to one side or the other. And we'll scooch close to the chair here. And if you can, you can put your feet under the chair or maybe out wide alongside the chair, however your setup is. If you're in front of a couch, you might need to come to kneel or come into cross-legged seat, Sukhasana. So whatever feels nice for you, we're just gonna find a nice high child's pose. So bring your hands to the chair and simply rest your forehead on the seat. You can flex into your feet strongly and point the toes up towards the sky. Or maybe your practice wants you to soften your feet. Soften and relax your legs. And breathe into the back of your body. Just a few breaths right here. And we'll inhale, being mindful of every vertebra of your spine as you rise up. And then we'll find a nice little Shavasana. 
So if you're not using the chair, you can come to lay down on your back in whatever way is most comfortable for you. If you are using a chair, you can bring your two calves to rest on the seat and then bring yourself to lay down on your back. Once again, rest one hand on your belly, one hand near your heart. And you might even be able to feel your heart beating under your upper hand. Invite the breath to deepen, expanding, not only into your belly, but the sides of your hips and your low back. Invite your face, your jaw to soften. And maybe say again to your body, I want to be your friend. And hear what it has to say to you today. Listening with kindness and compassion. And maybe it doesn't have much to say. That's okay too. Just a few more breaths here. Feeling what you feel, feeling that sense of vitality and energy that you created in your practice today. And if your time allows and you want to stay in your Shavasana, your resting pose, your corpse pose, the legs lifted or not, feel free to stay here for as long as your time allows. But if you're ready to move on from your practice today, begin to deepen your breath just a little bit more. You might reach your arms up overhead or out to either side and give yourself a little stretch. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Rotate your wrists and ankles in one direction a couple of times and then reverse the direction. And then just roll to whatever side is best for you, bringing your knees towards your heart and simply rolling off to the side. Once you get there, press yourself up to a tall seat. Find that center line once again where you're not too far forward or too far back. Invite your shoulders to soften from the ears. Tuck your chin gently to find that long neck. And then with your next inhale, Bring your hands to your heart any way you want to bring them there. I always like to sweep my arms out and up. Finding a gentle back bend in the top if that feels good to you. And then bringing your hands right down to meet your heart. Thank you for joining this practice today. I hope that you are finding more friendship and partnership with your body in your yoga practice. And in the tradition of yoga, the light within me honors and deeply reveres the light within each of you. Namaste.